What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction Ninja Kamui episode 8. <clears throat> Excuse me, what the fuck? Episode 8 of Ninja Kamui. So excited to get into this. See where we go from here. Hopefully, learn what this actual master plan is from Yamaji and the whole organization and their partners, Alza, the whole thing. Because we've yet to really learn what their true goal is. We know that, you know, one of their goals or one of their stipulations that Yamaji set once he started, you know, he once he started leading the clan was any of y'all that don't agree with me, y'all are exiled from the fucking clan. And if you are exiled, they must be exterminated. So that's, you know, how we've seen Egon's family get taken out, a bunch of other ex ninja get taken out because they didn't agree with Yamaji. They try to live a normal life and separate themselves from the clan. But no, you're going to be found and you're going to be killed. He's determined to take care of whoever didn't fucking agree with him and didn't stay with him once he started leading the clan. So that was like, that's one thing that we've gotten out of the way as we've been watching the show up until now. But last episode in particular, towards the end, you know, last episode was a like good amount of backstory, learning about Mary a little bit more, how kind and sweet she was, uh, how she led Emma and was her mentor and really made her feel comfortable, but also kind of confused because of the way Mary was leading her own life and Emma having to deal with, you know, she finally found purpose, so to speak, when she joined the ninja clan and started becoming a ninja because she was able to you know paint herself or make herself look however she wanted to because she had wounds on her face or terrible burns or something that literally her parents just cast her aside and didn't even want anything to do with her after that so she kind of felt like accepted to a place once she started you know joining this clan and, and, and becoming a ninja but then also with mary you know uh it kind of started this clash between the ideals of the ninja clan and then also what she was learning and, and, and um, respecting Mary for, or should she respect Mary for it? You know, she, she was going through a lot of, I guess, back and forth on what she really truly believes and what's okay and what's not okay. And, you know, whether to stand up and uphold the traditions of the ninja clan or the, the rules by Yamaji, whatever. And uh, eventually, you know, she ended up, you know, trying to kill mary but at the end of it realized how strong mary's resolve was in, in starting a family because she was pregnant and so mary saved emma in a way and that's why she looks up to her so much and so getting that backstory was really really cool and and seeing you know the uh effect mary had on emma and for that matter probably other people because she was just such a good person so we got that throughout the episode and then towards the end emma was about to you know clue in he gone on what their master plan is and what the the big goal in all of this is for them and then that's where the episode ended so that's what i'm expecting to get into this episode and truly learn what the fuck they're trying to do what they're trying to accomplish is it something as simple as taking over the world you know just controlling everything for themselves or you know is it something a little bit more intricate than that like we have we have no idea yet so hoping to get those answers this episode and maybe see he getting a little bit more action too because after him using the suit for the first time that shit was fucking badass he fucked up the small ninja dude i can't even remember his name i feel like they didn't say his name that much but uh fucked him up no problem cut his head off mutilated the shit i mean they were holding it at the fucking meeting table and yeah you could <laughs> you could hardly recognize the guy he fucked him up so can't wait to see more fights, of course, with Yagan in the suit. And you know that's going to be badass. So without further ado, let's get in the reaction. If you guys enjoy it, please like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Ninja Kamui, Episode 8. Oh, this is the thing that they were testing. Yeah, 2.2 million kilowatts per second or some crazy shit. Unlimited heat via fusion reaction. 80% less than anywhere else in the world. Interesting. The backing of the Department of Energy. It's a bunch of governors. 
So he's saying that there's no way that they would approve of this, but that means with the help of the ninjas, they probably just forced him to sign. And now he's now they're forcing him to fucking sign. Yeah, I figured that much. Of each country from the inside. Yeah, they just want control. Yeah, they completely fucking... <laughs> under Yamaji's rule, they completely said, fuck the normal rules or honor of ninja. Like, I want to do this for myself and gain control. And they do that by being the muscle of Alza. Crazy. Alright, let's get it. Come on. <laughs> oh, back to Mike and them. <laughs> this dude is constantly losing his mind. <laughs> I need a computer, dude. They were talking about that car that Emma had. It's in a shop somewhere. Don't you wish you would knew? <laughs> Little does that guy know that terrorist is in that fucking truck, buddy. Oh shit. Are they using the power of the suit? Oh wow. Did they just shut down the whole technology of the city? Looked like the whole detection barrier and everything went down. Yeah, the entire system. Yo, nah. Emma is goaded, bro. That's another thing that happened last time. I thought she was dead. They made it seem like two episodes ago at the, uh, the end of it that she died. Bro. He got like the perfect person for this type of suit. Because the way he was reacting, the speed he was moving at, was crazy. She's determined to protect him from Mary. That's how much she looked up to her. Is this where they're trying to they're trying to invade? Oh no, this is this is part of Alza. Damn. Holy shit. Oh my god, just fuck that tank up like it was nothing. Damn. All right, here goes the test for the reactor. A oh, big D's in the middle. So his suit is supercharged now. Where he doesn't need to, like, they don't need that, like, recharging station as often, I don't think. Look who it is. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Oh, he's in a suit. Let's go. Come on. Nah, his suit is so tough. I. You talking tough? Like, you ready for this shit? I hope you are. <laughs> bet that. Oh, I bet, yeah. Let's go, run this shit. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Yo, he's kind of fucking him up right now. Yeah, I'm assuming she's gonna try and, and, and do it herself to supercharge his suit. Damn! Oh! Bro, these centipede things look fucking crazy. Come on, fuck him up, he gone. <laughs> oh my goodness. He only attacks with kicks. Or no, maybe his arms are the centipedes? Because it doesn't even look like he has arms right now. Oh, damn. All right, Emma, she's doing her own thing even without her suit. Oh, fuck no, bro. Come on. I was about to say, you better scoop her ass. Oh, no, and the suit's powering down. Fuck. Only elegance. <laughs> So what, they failed in that sense? Did they retreat? This is the truck, right? Yeah, it's, it's part of her own goals to uphold what Mary held close to her. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's Mike. That's Mike and the, um, the other dude. To try and hack back into Alza systems. Or figure out more information, because they still don't even know, like, how Ohigan's doing, or that Emma's actually a ninja. Yeah, I mean, they, the FBI doesn't want him involved with this in the first place, so it's like, he's basically just acting independently now. Ah, something that only he would know or something like that? Where they met one time the song was playing. <laughs> Look at his rosy cheeks. My man was actually kind of tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> My man's just getting tossed. And that's especially true for him because he kind of lost, you know, his own family with the whole daughter situation, getting hit by a car and passing away and his wife being really upset about that because he would kind of ignore his family and then that shit happened. This is sort of all he has now. <laughs> his drunk ass! <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah! Go ahead! They had a good old time. <laughs> Yo, it's karaoke. <laughs> How's that gonna give him? Like, I mean, he recognized the song, but I wonder if they're gonna be able to meet up. Dynamite or no firecrackers, bro? What? I ain't gonna do shit. Oh, okay, they came to them. All right, bet that. Ew. We gotta talk. なるほどな。お前が忍びってのは驚きだ。FBI 
I mean, there's nothing really to apologize for. Like, she wasn't going to try and get you mixed up in this and, like, die and shit, bro. But you're already kind of in too deep at this point. <laughs> Just stepping on them, lit them. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. There's a lot of info to get all at once, man. Yeah. I mean, that would- that would affect anyone fucking... Insanely strong, bro. Like, losing your kid? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Care for a drink? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright, well, we got the gang back together. It's us four against fucking the entire Owls of Company and the ninjas. Jesus. Yep. Because they got the government, the FBI, I mean, and pretty much most, like, leaders in this thing, like, in their pockets, bro. They just use the forces of the ninja clan as their muscle to intimidate everybody so they can't say no. Damn, already? That was quick, bro. Quick ass episode. What the fuck? That shit was good though. I'm glad we regrouped with Mike and the other guy. So now we have more people like on our side that we can trust in our little small circle. And then figure out where the fuck we go from here. Alrighty guys, what another amazing episode of Ninja Com movie. That was a good watch. Got to see, I think, Higan and Emma try to get into one of their facilities where the reactor was, which I'm assuming is what is powering up these suits because we saw Big D there before they even showed up and they did a test on the suit uh, in charging it or, you know, whatever, because the head of Alza, the blonde dude, was talking to some of the, you know, whoever, you know, leaders, governors, whatever other people, like important people, like trying to show them this and, you know, gain more people uh, under them or like approving of this. Even if it's by force, obviously, because the ninja clan is backing Alza, so if they, they can't really say no unless you want to fucking die. He was mentioning that the current battery for, like, you know, the, uh, the, or charging stations of the batteries for the suits make them last for a good, like, 25, 30 minutes, something like that, I think he said. So, with what they just tested with the reactor with the, with Big D suit, was supercharging it so they don't have to recharge as often and can pretty much do what they want on longer periods of time. I'm assuming that's what was going on there. And that's why Emma and Higan were trying to infiltrate and, you know, hopefully get past Big D or, or just do what they want to be able to supercharge Higan's suit so he can stand a better chance and doesn't have and they don't have to recharge his suit all, over and over again, right? Or at least make it last longer. So that was their goal, but obviously Big D, you know, actually put up a fucking good fucking D defense <laughs> you know what I'm saying he handled them pretty swiftly I mean Emma didn't have her suit on her but she was you know doing what she could and he gone was pretty much taking the brunt of Big D's attacks and you know just because his suit doesn't last as long I mean you know he was able to save Emma and that was pretty much it they were just hanging by a thread or you know hanging on the ledge that he caught her from and you know big d was just like you know i'm not one to it seems he has his own sort of honor or pride he's like you know i look forward to fighting you again in a more professional manner like you know i want to take this like f you know fully on you know what i'm saying like he wants to take Egon on on his fullest uh because he respects him as you know a ninja of the old way or you know a true ninja warrior as they say so 
they didn't I don't, it doesn't seem that they accomplished in trying to supercharge the suit i'm assuming maybe they try to go some other location or go there again at some point maybe and, and are more successful at, uh, at some other time i'm sure at some point they'll be able to figure out what they want to do and, and actually or maybe hack into the system in some way now that they've met up with mike and the other dude that you know it was hacking into alza with uh emma's car computer and then maybe they can find another way to supercharge Egon's suit something like that but at least they tried and then the rest of the episode was them you know realizing that somebody was in emma's computer car and that's when she played that song and mike recognized it because of a flashback where they like were at a bar together just drinking and he had like a little karaoke session that shit was funny as hell um but only the only those two recognized that song from that moment so that's i'm assuming why i'm, I'm assuming she played it because the dude in the car that was using the computer was like why is the radio playing all of a sudden like by itself so i'm assuming emma put that on knowing that and then they tracked down the car met up with them told them everything Mike was obviously very surprised by all of it and kind of taken aback. And he was like, okay, I need some time alone to process this shit. Like, this is kind of crazy. Like, you know, you should have come to me about this. You know, the common reaction you'd have if somebody was hiding shit from you um, that you feel like you should have been aware of. So, you know, he's kind of having a tough time, like, processing it at first. But then they had a, their own conversation as <laughs> Emma was patching him up from those firecrackers that he stepped on and knelt on. And, uh... Yeah, they, they, you know, aren't mad at each other anymore after that conversation. They just, you know, saw it as, you know, I'm not mad at you for hiding shit from me, but like, you know, it stung at first. And, you know, obviously you have your reasons and there's certain things that are pushing you forward. It's the same thing with me where I have a certain thing that's pushing me forward. And it's this note that my daughter left me and she ended up dying in an accident. So that's kind of really the only thing that's pushing him forward to you know help people or continue doing his job is like you know he holds on to that regret i think for his for his whole life ever since that happened like damn i wasn't around enough and then boom my daughter's gone like that fucking sucks dude so you know they each have their own things that are pushing them forward and then they end up you know giving them the information that they've learned so far or whatever emma has known from being a spy for uh, under alza and betraying them and and you know showing them all the footage or whatever information they have of the ninjas the suits you know this new technology and they're like yo this is fucking crazy and even if they released it it'd just be passed on as fake because they have the government and whoever other officials big people up on the top in their pockets and then the ninja clan has their muscle to just shut anybody up or kill them if you know nobody agrees or tries to fucking get in the way so it's gonna take a lot to actually successfully get to Yamaji like Higan wants, take care of them, you know, get on the insides of Alza and, and really do some damage. So hopefully next episode we find a way to supercharge, supercharge Higan's suit and really get the ball rolling to be able to take out Alza or take out Yamaji, like one of the two, maybe at the same time, uh, but really like do some damage. So that's what I'm expecting next episode. I can't wait for it. It was another good one. That's going to do it for me. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please like down below, comment, subscribe for new, hit that notification bell so you the next one's dropping. I'll see you all in the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.